What's going on everybody? George here and today I just want to share with y'all some items that I've been picking up. This is probably a two to three week uh, toy haul. Just here, here, there, you know, Targets, Walmarts. Uh, there was a Think Geek run in there. So first I've been wanting to build the King Shark figure but I haven't had a lot of luck actually getting figures for that. But I have found two so far. I got the Toys R Us exclusive the uh, Damian Wayne Robin and he has the hammerhead variant for King Shark and that's what he'll look like with the head on there and I found Hawkman which is I think the left leg for King Shark that's all I found so far for the King Shark wave um, I don't know if I missed the boat or if it's just still so new it hasn't made it into my area yet and that was a Toys R Us and a Target run then we went to Walmart picked up a couple of DVDs we got all seven of the Saw movies on three discs and that was ten bucks and we got the Alien Quadrilogy on a four disc set and that was also ten bucks so not bad you got eleven movies there twenty bucks and with the new uh, Alien Covenant coming out, or out now rather, I don't think I've seen more than just Alien and Aliens. I don't think I've seen the third one or the Resurrection. So I need to binge watch that so I can go to the movies. And at the same Walmart, I did come up a little bit. I found the, this is Guardians of the Galaxy, not volume two, just the regular, but this is, what is it? Death's Head 2. I wasn't gonna pick this figure up, but he is, wait, where are we at? Actually a really cool looking figure. These will be coming out of their boxes, but I need to build a set of shelves to better display. So once I get that built in, these can come out of the box. So for now they're staying in the box. And the one that I wanted the most from the Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 wave was this one. Rocket the Raccoon, Interchangeable Head, and Baby Groot, and it happens to come with the Mantis Torso. And if you can see past the glare, the detail in the Baby Groot is actually amazing for such a small figure. So that was one Walmart run. Then we made a Think Geek run at some point. Like I said, this is a two to three week time span here. And I caught them while they were just putting out some inventory and they happen to have some Guardians of the Galaxy Marvel Legends the, vol the volume 2 line we found Nebula and this figure is absolutely amazing probably this one and Gamora are the nicest figures in the line in my opinion absolutely beautiful And then we came up with, what's this guy's name? X Nihilo? Nihilo? I don't know. Another pretty cool looking figure. He's pretty much all gold except for the green on his forehead, the green eye, his normal eyes, mouth, and the uh, chest emblem. There's the back of that one. And we came up with the... Adam Warlock. This figure I wasn't really too keen on, but you know I needed it for the Mantis build a figure. I need he comes with her head. But uh he's starting to grow on me, and the fact that he has the interchangeable head right there, that's probably how he'll be displayed. But yeah, he's starting to grow on me. I like him. Alright, now where are we at? Okay, so we still have another another Walmart run. Me and when my wife and I get bored, we tend to just go to Walmart and walk around. And this time it paid off big for me because I still needed a couple more Mantis pieces to build the figure. And I came up with Gamora. And just the face sculpt and the hair, how it fades from black to that red. This is an amazing figure. And there's the back. 
And we got Star-Lord, the one with the red scarf. I think there's probably two or three different Star-Lord figures out there. The one with the red scarf is the one I needed to get Mantis's arm right there. Not a bad looking figure. And then on a target run, a target probably 30 plus miles from my house, I finally found it. The Marvel Legends 12 inch Deadpool, 25 bucks on clearance. And I kick myself now because I should hit, they had three of them there. All 25 bucks. All the boxes were in pretty good shape, but I tried to pick out the best box out of the three. I should have bought at least one more, if nothing else to use as trade. But I did get one. One's what I wanted for me. So again, this will also be coming out the box as soon as I get my shelves built. That's probably a week or two out. I've got the materials, just need the time. And one more thing, I got a pin in the mail. This is an eBay find. It was one that I wanted from Lunar Crib, but I missed the boat on that one. They sold out because they are very limited. I want, I want to say they were limited to I don't know, maybe 250 I don't know. But it is a hard enamel pin, quite large pin, but it is the a spit on your grave pin, and it is easy two inches tall. And it is hard enamel, like I said, and if you don't know the diff difference between a hard enamel and a soft enamel, basically hard enamel is the higher gloss version, just like you can see the shine there. But the card's not numbered or anything, but I, I want to say these were limited to like 250 pieces. So, very cool pin. I don't know if this will end up on my vest or not. I have a few pins that I just like for the design and will end up on a pin board that is going to be incorporated into the shelves that I want to build. So, really this is probably going to end up on that pin board. But, that's it everybody. Let me know what you think of my haul. A complete set of the Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 Wave so that I can build the uh, Mantis figure. I have started the King Shark wave at least. Some new movies, badass Deadpool. I'm pretty happy with it. Not, I don't think that's bad. We'll just say three weeks. I don't think that's bad for three weeks. So let me know what you think. Uh, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, hit a like, leave a comment, all the good stuff. And until next time, everybody, be good, be careful, make good decisions, and remember, two out of three ain't bad. I'm out. Peace.